select your design you're gonna double click your button here double click and you're gonna come here so now we're gonna write the code to calculate um, the salary so we're gonna say int salary equals integer the parse int and then we're gonna say text underscore salary dot get text so we're gonna get the salary from here the basic salary and then what we're gonna do we're gonna say int get percentage equals integer dot parse int txt d1 dot get text so we're gonna get the txt dot d1 which is the, the percentage amount and then we're gonna say int calc percentage equals salary divided by 100 into get percentage plus salary then uh, just to put space here so you can know what's going on right and then we're gonna say we're gonna say string uh, let's call it XP equals string dot value of then we're gonna say calc percentage txt salary dot set text xp all right so the next part we're gonna do we're gonna say int get amt to get the amount equals integer dot parse int txt d2 dot get text so we're gonna get this one in here this is d2 so the next step is going to be int calc amount equals salary plus get amt and then we're going to say string xa equals string um, the value of calc amount and now we're going to say txt salary dot set text xa So we're going to say try here and we're going to do this and we're going to say catch exception E and then we're going to say J of champagne dot show message dialog null. Now here we're going to say try and we're going to have catch exception E and we're going to just copy this and paste it in here and then we need to finally so we're going to say finally 
I'm going to say try and then catch exceptionally and open my close it right and I'm going to say rs dot close and then here you're going to say pst dot close right so um, under this try in here you're going to say string value one equals txt dot emp id equal get text and then string value two equals txt salary dot get text and then here you're gonna say string sql equals you're gonna say update staff information set id equals value one which is here and then we're gonna add a comma and say salary salary um, equals plus plus value two and then we're gonna say where ID equals and you're gonna say value one so are uh, you gonna save that and now we only got one thing left um, I'm gonna go design so so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna run run this again I'm gonna go here like that and I'm gonna run it again and what we're gonna do is you see you can select the two at the same time so what we're gonna do is when we select the percentage this is good this is gonna this the amount is gonna be disabled and the percentage box is gonna be enabled and when we select the amount the amount is going to be enabled and the percentage is going to be disabled. So what we're going to do is we're going to close this. We're going to go here. Yeah, go right click in here. You're going to say events action action performed, and then you're going to go here. And what you're going to say? You're going to say R amount dot set selected true and then r percentage dot the set selected false and then you're gonna say txt d1 dot set enabled you're going to say false and then txt d2 dot set enable set enabled and you're going to say true and then txt ah oh, sorry I mean set editable and then here d2 dot set enabled true and then txt d1 dot set text Right, so we're going to test that.
yeah now we're going to do the same thing for the percentage so now you see selected here and this is disabled and you can write a month here so we're going to do the same thing for the percentage thing so go to your design in here right click actions action action performed and just here and here you're gonna say R percentage the set selected true and then you can say R amount the set selected false and then you can say txt d2 dot set enabled false txt d1 dot set editable and you're gonna say true and then txt d1 dot set enabled um, true txt d2 dot set text to nothing and now we're going to save it, so you're going to right click and you're going to run and we're going to put that to the test so whenever you select here this is going to be disabled whenever you select here this is going to be disabled so you can only put once at a time and you can't edit these here so um, we're going to try and update the salary of our employee so if you're going to go to the database you're going to see here the salary refresh and you're going to see the salary here 25,000 for copper so we're going to say 5 just copper here and we're going to add a percentage uh, let's say 1% and when you click on update okay you see here it's updated the 1% but we got an error let's see, update again and post three, whatever but it's working so I'm gonna uh, run through the code again and then come back and see the error yeah so I forgot a line of code here <laughs> uh, it's right here under his right PST equals con dot prepare statement SQL and then PST dot execute and you're gonna say you just add here like that I remove the E and you're gonna say record updated I'm gonna save that and you're gonna right click here you're gonna run again there you go so you're gonna search for copper again you see and you're gonna say by the amount by the percentage say one percent say update okay we're gonna error again so we're gonna close it ah there you go it's not sir it's set <laughs> uh this is set so you're gonna save it you're gonna right click and run again and there you go five percentage one update record updated so you're going to check your database there you go that's one percent added to the salary so now we're going to clean our code so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say here um, just here what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if r percentage dot is 
selected equal equals true. Now you do this. I say else if r amount dot is selected equal equal true. And you do that, and you just do this percentage here. And you're going to take the salary and you're going to put it up here. Right. And you're going to save that. And also, you're going to remove the try here and the catch here, like that. So you're going to save it, and uh, right click, run again, and search for the employee, let's say 5, kappa, there you go, salary, percentage, let's say 1%, update, record updated, okay. So you can go to the database, and refresh, there you go, updated. If you want to update by the amount, let's say for example 50, there you go here, update, record updated, yes, updated by 50, you can go here. There you go, salary. And there you go. Yeah. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe.